Hello, and this is a look at my Dell Experion E1405. Um, this is a Core 2 dual base PC, and I will be trying to restore this computer back to its former glory using the max maximum specs possible. Um, here are some of the things that I've done off camera. I have replaced the RAM and maxed it out at four gigabytes of DDR2. Um, I've also repasted the CPU as well as replaced this keyboard. Now this is not a regular uh, United States layout. As you can see, we do have some European symbols on here as well. But it suits the build, even though it does have an unconventional layout. I do get this confused with this. This being shift, this being enter. So it took a little while to get used to it, but other than that, it's okay. Um, as we power on the system and go into the BIOS, you will notice that I have the latest BIOS available. And... Um, We'll go through some of the features. So here we have a processor. We have an Intel Core 2 Dual clocked at uh, 1.8 gigahertz with a base clock of 1 gigahertz. Um, as you can see here, we do have 4 gigabytes of RAM um, in dual channel mode. And also a 500 gig hard drive, a DVD burner, and the Intel 945 GM chipset um, I will be trying to use this for SP based gaming and um, we'll see what happens so just to give you a little bit about the lay of the land on the left side we have the DVD burner 2 USB 2.0 uh, 56k modem as well as uh, Ethernet port. Um, we have VGA on the rear. We have two more USB, uh, the power port, and the battery. Now, on the right side, we have some ventilation as video, uh, which looks like 1394, and microphone in and out, SD card, and PC card. Uh, slot and the reason that I chose this model is if you look under this panel here you can actually get to the CPU fairly easily just by removing three screws so if I've done this right And there you have it. That is how you get to the CPU. I think that is awesome. And um, I plan to find the CPU that this model can support at the maximum frequency and placing that in there as well. I like these old models better than I do the new ones um, due to the fact that uh, you can get a lot more upgrades into one of these versus uh, most other newer computers that have everything soldered to the motherboard. So, we have one memory slot here. The other one is under the keyboard. Uh, this is our hard drive slot, which has the 500 gig hard drive. Uh, here we have the wireless networking bay. Um, still trying to find the actual Bluetooth card that slots in there as well. So, uh, if you look at the top, you can see that there's a few scratches, but other than that, it's a, it's a pretty pretty good. The hinge is very tight, as you can see, and um, we have the dedicated media keys that look a little worse for wear. On here so for this button is the media direct button <clears throat> excuse me and as you can see it partially works 
I'm in the process of getting the original software that came with this computer from Europe, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.